Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lisa. I'm the admissions director here at Growing Brilliant in Granite Bay. And I have a really fun story I'd like to read with you. And then afterwards, we're gonna do a great activity. So stick around for that activity at the end. The book we're gonna to read today is called In My Nest. In My Nest was written by Sarah Gillingham and illustrated by Lorena Siminovich. Check out this little bird. Do you see? Tweet, 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 tweet. Is he pecking? in his nest. Let's see what the story has to say. We're going to open up the book and it says, in my nest, there are curly twigs. Can you see the twigs curling around the bird's nest? And then look up in the corner. Do you see the ants? There are ants marching along this twig. Soft, warm feathers. Smooth green leaves with mud to help stick things together. So do you see there are leaves all around? And then in the middle of the leaves is all this mud that helps the things stick together. And there is me. I am cozy in my nest. Do you see him cozied up in his nest? Maybe he's eaten. You think he's eating some seeds or maybe a worm? With my family. See the bird has his family with him? Give him a big hug. Oh, I love you. Are you at home with your family? That's a really nice place to be. All right, friends. Thank you for reading In My Nest with me. Now we're gonna do a really fun activity that has some special things, let me pull my table back here. Some of them that we talked about in our story. Now this is one of my favorite circle time activities. This is a guess what's missing game. So I'm gonna show you the objects that I have on my table and then I want you to remember what you see so that when I take something away, you can tell me what you think is missing. All right, so first we're gonna talk about the things that we have on the table. So the first one here is a special stick just like the twigs that were in the bird's nest. A feather. A smooth green leaf. And a special stone. All right, so we have a stick, a feather, a leaf, and a stone. Now, I'm going to cover these things up. And I want you to think about the things that you saw on the table. I'm gonna pull this cloth off and one of those things is gonna be missing and I want you to guess which one that was, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three. All right, what do you think is missing? We still have a stick, a feather, and a stone. So what's missing? If you said the leaf, then you're correct. <laughs> nice job. All right, let's try that again. We're gonna cover it up and I'm gonna say one, two, three. All right, so we still have a stick, a leaf, and a stone. So can you tell me what's missing? If you said a feather, then you're right. All right, should we do it again? Remember the things that are on the table them up and say one, two, three. The leaf blew or the feather blew away. All right, what do you think is missing? If you said the stone, then you're right. Nice memory work, everyone. All right, so this is a really fun activity that you can play at home with your family. You can choose any objects, some of your favorite objects. You can go with a theme like I did here that went along with the book that we read. And um, depending on the age of the children that you're doing this with, you can use fewer objects or more objects. And you can talk about some great descriptive words of the objects that you used. However you decide to do it, I hope you guys have fun. And I'd love to see any photos or videos of you guys um, if you wanna send them in or post them for us to see. All right guys, we'll see you soon.